down in person for Midtown West has officially begun and we're so excited. Um, so excited for the families that came yesterday and can't wait to hopefully see more and more of you um, as the weeks go on here. And just as uh, another overview, uh, we, we talked, Matt talked yesterday um, about some of the core values of Kid Town, and one of those for us is um, equipping you as parents to disciple your kids. And so, um, yeah, I'm just for family discipleship. Uh, and so that's what this is. Um, this video and the rest of this MailChimp is um, to come alongside the Lord and equip you to do that. So the family foundation this week um, that we are talking about is to hide the word or God's word in your heart to live by it. And I was listening to a um, interview with Jen Wilkin. I don't know if some of y'all know her, but um, she's fantastic. And she was talking about, um, she was talking to college students specifically, but just some barriers to reading the word. And she was describing it um, that we so often treat the word of God um, as adults or as um, growing humans that um, we treat it as a debit card um, and we want to and we come into it wanting to read it and feel um, and experience the transformation that's happening as we read it um, and so if we don't feel that if we just read it and nothing happens um, immediately then that causes us to not want to pick it up again and not want to pick it up again. And she's, she was inviting um, these students to uh, reframe that and think of it more like a savings account. And reading the Word of God isn't always going to each day necessarily um, make you feel differently or you feel the transformation. You encounter the transformation that's happening as you read it. Um, but it's like the savings account that builds up over time and as um, when you need it then it's there for you to access and I think about that um, as my mom has or my mom battled cancer for two and a half years um, and then when she passed away um, this fall uh, I was just reflecting at one point and thinking about all the ways that the Lord had sown um, seeds of his promises and his truth within me within our family um, that we needed for those two and a half years and, and post, um, her death. And so I think about that specifically with kids is, uh, they don't always understand what they're reading. Um, they don't always, things don't always fully click necessarily. Um, but I would say for me as a 28 year old reading the Bible, um, that's also true and new things come to life and that's the beauty of the word of God. Um, and that's our invitation as, um, people who are discipling little hearts, little hands, little minds is to, um, come alongside the Lord and sow the truth, sow his promises, sow the word of God, um, in their heart. So it's in that savings account for whenever they need it, um, moving forward and, um, so that they can live by it and live in the fullness, um, of it. So, that's what I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray for the Lord to cultivate um, this foundation within each of you as parents, um, with each of us as leaders um, and shepherds of your kids, um, and within each child, that he would sow the word of God in their hearts um, so that they can live by it all the days of their life um, and live in the truth of the gospel all the days of their life. So, Father God, um, thank you. Thank you for your word. Um, thank you for good and beautiful and perfect gift that it is. Thank you that you are the greatest um, story writer, storyteller of all time. Thank you that this is the greatest book of all time. Thank you that your word is alive and it's active. Whether we feel its um, activity in our hearts or the transformation of our hearts while we read it or not, um, you do something through it and you sow the truth in us. Um, and so, God, I pray for that. I pray for that for each parent. I pray for that for each shepherd. Um, 
I pray for that for myself, and I pray for that for every child, Lord, at Midtown West, that you would sow your word in our hearts. Um, sow it so deeply that um, we live by it each and every day. Um, and, God, I just thank you. Um, I thank you that you give us um, your word to teach us, to transform us, and help us, and guide us, and remind us of who you are, um, of your good news, and of the person of Jesus. So Holy Spirit, would you do that through your word um, today and in every day to come in each of us? I pray in your mighty name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Bye. See you next week. Sometimes I get a good feeling, yeah I get a feeling that I never, 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 never had before No, no, I get a good feeling